the first contest this evening is a tag team contest over 20 minutes duration. Two falls, two submissions, or two knockouts decide the winners. Between and introducing on my left and in the red corner, first of all, the Jets from Sheffield, Aaron Kilby. And his partner for this evening, Steve Logan. And their opponents on my right and in the blue corner, the Riot Squad, first of all from Belfast, Dave Finlay. And his partner for the evening from Plymouth, the shaven-headed tearaway, Skull Murphy. Hello again, Grapple fans. Good afternoon to you. I'm here at the Fairfield Hall, Croydon. We welcome you to a very special afternoon of grappling. This is tag team time, but super. Top tag team, world of sport, this is all about. And this is the first semi-final we're about to see right now between Stone Murphy and Dave Fenley. That's Fenley just taking that first throw. And threatening already, the stars all over his tights. And their opponents, Alan Kilby, Steve Logan. Kilby and Logan, the Jets. Murphy and Finley, the riot squad. So at the moment, it's Kilby versus Finley. Kilby for the Jets in the light red trunks with stars in the front. Max Ward, the referee from Birmingham, of course. So Kilby versus. So Finley with that uh, right knee protector over the top of his tights. And with this uh, very special top tag team event here at the Fairview Hall Croyd, and of course the referee is going to be really extremely particular about people getting in from outside the ring and off the tag rope as Cole Murphy nearly did there on the far side. But at the moment it's Finley trying to force a double hand face bar under Kilby who's dealing on one knee but and back elbows missed. Some very very nice uh, belts especially made for this world of sport top tag team. And the final of which, of course, you will be seeing next Saturday afternoon. But at the moment, it's the, for the Jets, Al Kilby versus Cole Murphy for the Riot Squad. And you can hear which way the crowd's going. Finley trying to get in to help him already. He hasn't even started. Check which Kirby nearly always wins, and he won that one. So, tag matches have been fought all over this country, and the top men are here this afternoon in the two semi finals. This is the first of them. And of course, the co combination of the weights in each corner must not exceed 450 pounds. So it's still Murphy versus Kilby. Kilby hasn't bothered his partner, Steve Logan, at all yet. And for the For the older Drapel fans, of course, this, when I mentioned Steve Logan, in this case, it is not the Steve Logan that you're probably thinking about from Walworth, London. This is a, a comparatively new fellow from Birmingham, a, a, a middleweight. And Kilby's partner. Kilby's partner here in this tag contest.
And while Max Ward, the referee, was warning Skull Murphy in the corner, of course, Finley takes advantage of that with a back elbow with his man down and free. So he should have been allowed up first. So Kilby coming back. A little bit strong on that, a bit angry about that move behind the referee. Timekeeper, five minutes gone, and there's 20 minutes tag team contest. Two falls, two submissions, two disqualifications, or of course, two knockouts to decide the winner. Steve Logan finally in against Finley, and, and uh, Finley thought he was going to find it all that easy when he got the lighter man, but I don't think he is. This uh, shaggy haired boy from Birmingham. Excellent wrestler. Of course, he's giving away a bit of weight to Finley over a stone. And it's Murphy in this corner being dealt with by fairly nicely there by Steve Logan. Can he keep it up? There was a body shot, but too far up, and he walks straight with that headbutt beautifully down by Logan. And what was that? I couldn't see that from my side of the ring. You possibly couldn't at home, but the referee didn't spot it either. No good complaining. Maybe a low, a low chop, I think. Uh, his man up by the hair from the canvas. Two rules broken in one move. It's okay as long as he didn't leave go. Public warning already to Finley. Ladies and gentlemen, Murphy has received a public warning. And in comes Finley now, Tom Atai, and drops a knee straight on the side of uh, And that was Murphy from outside. You saw that. Question is whether the referee did. Follow up by Finley, but to the stomach, and Steve Logan getting a lot of punishment here from these two bigger men. Oh, nicely out of here, he was straight into it, forcing straight into the corner cushion there, which is not very thick before the iron starts. Perfectly good body check, and another one by Logan, nicely done. Help there, caught beautifully by Finley and back in a splash backwards and over the top for a cross press and looks trouble for Logan. This is the first one to Finley. Seven minutes, 50 seconds into the 20 minute tag contest and the first fall to Finley over Logan. Ladies and gentlemen, the first fall to the Riot Squad, Dave Finley and Scarlett. MC Peter Bates. So, now the question is, can the Jets, everybody here at the Fairfield Hall Croydon wants them to, can they catch up and equalize soon? Session two. This is where we're going to find out. Finley must continue against Logan, unfortunately. Logan must continue after the fall or a submission. Or even an knockout. He, unless he's the one that, that really goes permanently out. If he's just counted out, he must continue in the next part of the contest. Unless, of course, he's unconscious. Nice knee drop to the knee. 
Logan doing not so well against Finley just now, but he'll have to do better or get out of the ring and tag. Must tag his partner quickly now. Kilby, Alan Kilby, very much stronger. There he is waiting in the left hand side of your picture there. Porter Nelson and from outside the ring by Murphy. And again the referee's back's turn, so Finley goes in with a punch. Follow-up, missed. And a tag. Finally got over his corner, and Logan managed to tag Kilby. So it's Kilby versus Finley now. Tried the head more first, missed it for the second chance. Oh, yes, but... Humphrey through the line is Kirby over the top of the cross cross, and there's the equaliser in just over ten minutes. into 10 minutes of this tag college, just about 10 and a half, actually. So, one fall each now, and one public warning, of course, against Friendly so far. But these two, a bit happier at the moment as we Take go ahead. ahead. Final session. Final session of this 20-minute tag contest. about the riot squad. And they're very, very happy if Finley gets into trouble and is in trouble at the moment. As nearly everybody is against Darren Kirby. Extremely strong man. A punch right to the stomach, but no, the referee happy with a flat of the hand there. For some reason, finally tagging there. I don't know why when Murphy came in, the, uh, the Jets didn't stay as they were. Kilby was doing okay, but now it's Murphy versus the lighter man, Steve Logan. And in trouble. Yes. Not so bad as it could have been. It could have been a throw on the top rope. Don't like this use of hair by Murphy. Straight figures, okay. So it's Tom Murphy versus Logan. Double arm suplex, all the way over the top, following up quickly the cross press, but it was a punch. Ladies and gentlemen, Murphy has received the second and final public warning. So referee says that was a punch that landed before the forearm to make it look good. The punch went in first, and the second and final public warning to Murphy. For Murphy's team. Rutschold slam now, if, sla if he slams him now and follows him correctly, doesn't, he throws him. He follows him slowly, too slowly. Might have lost a chance there, Murphy. Oh, 
Oh, how Steve Lugo and then get a submission, and it's Murphy and Fenley who've done it to one fall and one submission to one fall in just 14 minutes, five seconds of this tag contest. So there's the first into the final, Murphy and Finley. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners by two falls to one, Dave Finley and Scarlett Murphy. And remember to join us in a few minutes for the second semi-final.